Hi, my name is Yuri Kalisnichenko. I am a medicinologist from Moscow, Russia, and today we talk about varicocele in the practice of pediatric sonography. Varicocele is a dilatation of plexus papiniformis veins, which drains blood flow from the testicle and epididymis and form it a testicular vein. Varicocele occurs in 14 uh, 20 percent of healthy men and more often with infertility in 35 40 percent uh, varicocele uh, is rare in children under 10 years of age uh, varicocele occurs more often on the left side and may be asymptomatic or may manifest as enlargement or mass lesion of the scrotum pain in the scrotum uh, varicocele can be primary or secondary in most cases it is primary on the background of the congenital absence of wealth in the testicular vein but it also can be secondary on the background of thrombosis, stenosis, compression of the left renal or testicular veins. Uh, the etiology of infertility in varicocele is considered to be overheating of the testicle by a network of varicose veins, uh, which negatively affects spermatogenesis. Varicocele does not always require treatment. Uh, treatment options for varicocele are varicocele ectomy and pampiniformis plexus varicose vein symbolization. Varicocele is perfectly detected during physical examination, uh, usually by surgeon or urologist, but there are also so called subclinical uh, form of uh, uh, varicocele. Uh, those that are not diagnosed by physical examination, as well as uh, unclear cases. Uh, for example, when varicocele is combined with hydrocele, uh, which make uh, physical assessment difficult, or when other diseases mimic varicocele, such as uh, Sinner syndrome, in which uh, the dilated vas deferens mimics the veins of papiniformis plexus. In such unclear cases, clinicians uh, resort to instrumental diagnostics, which may include sonography, ultrasound, angiography, venography, uh, CT, MRI, scintigraphy, thermography, and of course the most popular uh, method is ultrasound. The criteria for varicocele by ultrasound is the visualization of uh, veins and scrotum, which more than 2 mm in diameter. Uh, in the standing position and during the Vasalva test, uh, the diameter of these veins usually become three or more uh, millimeters, as well as the uh, registration of venous reflux in these uh, veins in a spectral Doppler mode, uh, PV pulsed wave Doppler, with the determination uh, of reflux duration. Uh, Varicocele with reflux lasting more than one second is considered significant. Uh, in increasing the risk of infertility, which is consistent with the method of F. Cornet et al. Method of uh, F. Cornet et al. Uh, in particular uh, is mentioned in the ultrasound handbook uh, edited by Mitkov, uh, translated from uh, Russian. Uh, according to F. Cornet et al., Short reflux, uh, which they define as physiological, lasts no more than one second. Intermediate reflux, uh, characterized by a gradual decrease in blood flow velocity and ending before the end of the Vasava test, lasts less than two seconds. And finally, constant prolonged reflux, uh, characterized by the plateau curve shape and accordingly uh, by constant blood flow rate and uh, continuing during the entire phase of tension of the abdominal wall last uh, more than two seconds. I do not know the degree of varicocele by ultrasound and in my opinion the degree of varicocele is a clinical diagnosis made by a urologist. Uh, in particular, uh, in this regard, I would like to cite one more quote uh, from ultrasound handbook, it is by Mitkov, uh, translated from Russian. Uh, there are many domestic and foreign classification of the disease based on the severity of the dilatation of the pampiniform plexus veins and the violation of trophism of the testicle. Uh, the concept of staging today has a very big historical uh, character since the correspondence uh, between the degree of dilatation of venous vessels and impairment 
of the fertilizing ability of sperm has not been identified. Uh, however, not all urologists agree with this. In a quote from the first edition of the Russian Handbook of Mitkov, uh, translated from Russian, uh, there are three stages of varicose veins of spermatic cord. In the first stage, the dilatation of the venous vessel is determined by straining the patient or then examining him in a standing position. When examining in a horizontal position, uh, the lumen of the dilated uh, venous vessel decreases. Uh, in the second stage, so the dilated venous vessels are determined at the level of the upper pole of the uh, testis and slightly uh, below. Uh, the dilatation of the veins of the spermatic cord remains during the examination in the supine position. In the third stage, varicose veins are determined below the lower pole of the testicle. There is a decrease in size of testicle, testicular atrophy. Here you can see classification of sartechi. Uh, five stage. For example, you can read this in pause mode. Also, there are another classification. And this slide you can see uh, simplified, modified classification of Sartechi. Only four stage. You can read this at pause mode too. And uh, another classification uh, by Dubin et al. Uh, also four stage and this uh, one is scoring system for varicocele by Chu et al. You can see that there are a lot of criteria uh, and uh, overall score 4 is considered as varicocele. Uh, method of performing ultrasound to the scrotum in case of suspected varicocele. Uh, the study is carried out with high frequency linear probes with a frequency of uh, from 7 to 12 megahertz. As in addition to the usual ultrasound of the scrotum, it is imperative to perform a polypositional scan, uh, examination of patient in the standing position. Uh, because uh, in the supine position, the cell may not be detected. Uh, a Valsalva test uh, maneuver is also performed. The patient is asked to take a deep breath, hold his breath at the height of the inhalation without exhaling, and then strain his abdomen muscle. During the Valsalva test, blood flow is recorded in the veins of the pampiniformis plexus. Uh, first of all, in the CFM or uh, PD mode. And in case of positive uh, results in CFM, uh, a sharp increase in the diameter of veins or uh, staining of the veins uh, during the Valsalva maneuver, um, uh, which can be compared with uh, turning on, on uh, the light in the room phenomenon. Um, and secondary, uh, by using a special pulsed wave Doppler uh, in order to determine the duration of the reflex. Uh, here you can see the phenomenon of the turning on light in the room at Valsalva test. Um, supine position, standing position, and uh, this is uh, Valsalva test uh, in CFM mode and in power Doppler mode. Uh, here you can see uh, the spectral uh, Doppler mode uh, results. Uh, positive, negative uh, at Valsalva test. Uh, it's uh, it's anti-grade blood flow at the rest. Uh, then uh, on Valsalva short reflux, physiological reflux. Now we can see uh, another um, um, example. Uh, the arrow is uh, a beginning of Valsalva test and uh, after the beginning uh, start the constant prolonged uh, reflux, long reflux. Uh, another um, uh, negative uh, result of Valsalva test. Uh, uh, so we can see slowing down the blood flow during Valsalva without, uh, without reflux and uh, here and here same result, negative. What else we can see after surgical treatment of varicocele ultrasound? 
Uh, in my practice, uh, the testes on the site of the surgery was often increasing in size, presumably as a result of uh, uh, decreasing of venous outflow tract. You can see it here. Uh, normal uh, size it, uh, testicle and enlarge it. Testicle after surgery. As in many other cases, ultrasound of scrotum is also only an initial method of visual diagnostics and to clarify as a diagnosis, complete tomography or magnetic resonance imaging can be recommended, prescribed, but in my practice this happens very rare. Something loops. Uh, here we can see a phenomenon of turning on the light uh, in the room at Valsalva test, turning on. Rest and uh, Valsaliva turning on light, standing position, color flow mode. In another example of uh, this phenomenon, we can see uh, rest and uh, Valsaliva. And this is an example of a condition after the surgery. We can see the testicle on site of surgery is enlarged and uh, uh, more rounded shape. Thank you, that's all.